Well, as anyone who's lived in Louisiana for more than a year knows, fresh crawfish is only available for a limited time. But as Toby Blanchard tells us, LSU Ag Center researchers are working on breeding an alternative crawfish species that could open that window a little wider. Crawfish boils are a mainstay of many spring weekends in Louisiana, but the boiler pots are typically put away in early summer. An LSU Ag Center aquaculture specialist believes this alternative species of crawfish, which are native to Louisiana and found in the Atchafalaya Basin, may have the pots boiling again in the fall. This animal lays its eggs in the early spring and grows through the summer months, and they're just about the right size for eating when football season rolls around. That's right, crawfish during football season. And it gets better. With the traditional crawfish, a lot of the weight that you're paying for is in the claws, in the head. This animal has a larger proportion of tail to the rest of its body, and the claws are fairly small, so uh, you get a little more bang for your buck. This is the first time research has been conducted on this species, which is often referred to as crawfish shrimp by fishermen in the basin. Lutz recently developed a captive population to start his research. He has stocked 60 research ponds with this crawfish and is looking at different factors such as stocking density for good growth and development and potential food sources. We're looking at different types of vegetation, uh, what might produce the, the best habitat to grow these animals in out there in a commercial crawfish pond. Lutz is growing a native wetland plant called maiden cane in his ponds along with rice. He says they respond to traditional crawfish baits and would be trapped the same way. But consumers shouldn't dust off their boiling pots this fall. Lutz says it could be two or three years before these crawfish go commercial. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center. Lutz says he sampled a few of these alternative crawfish and says they peeled and tasted just like regular crawfish.